Okay, good morning, guys. I'm gonna give you a little small tour of Georgia Southern Campus State Spur. Um, so let's get right to it. Okay, this is the Army um, RTC building for the Army majors at Georgia Southern Campus. This is near the IT and um, education building. It's like the second entrance or the main entrance you would come in. Right now, I am walking to my um, training that's going to be located in the rack so i'm just walking to the shuttle so i can go to my training in the rack as you can see they have police building i mean be riding around um the police always ride around whenever you know things need to be secured and watched so you see this lot sign that says lot 42. This is over here. If you get a parking pass, it says lot 42. This is over here by the education building. That's what I'm gonna show you closer up. And then this is over by the IT building, which you can't see behind the trees that I'm gonna show in just a second. This is the parking lot of the IT and the education. It usually be full in the fall and spring. So just FYI, when looking for a parking pass, I would suggest to go ahead and get it and do not waste any time to purchase a parking pass. Okay. So this is a close up of the education building. This is the teacher's parking lot of the education building. If you're an edu education major, you will come here. And like I said, the IT building is next door to it, but I will not be able to show you. So it says College of Education. Oops. And as you can see, I am walking to this route beside the education building to go get on the shuttle to go to the rack the rack is the rack is part of your tuition but if you take it off then you will have to pay i'm assuming to work out and i will show you that in just a second so this is the shuttle to go to the rack as you can see over there um i will be entering the shuttle in just a second but i'm just going to show you what i have to do to get on the shuttle and what times they come depends on the route. And you can look that up online. So this is a glimpse of the education building. And then over there to your right, you have the nursing building. If you're a nursing major, that's the nursing building. All right, so now you see the pond of Georgia Southern. Um, the pond of Georgia Southern is so beautiful at night. So it's over here. And this is where the shuttles will park, right there, in front of the pole. As you can see, the shuttles leaving off. But this is at the end, or the bottom, of the education building. And then you will see it says College of Education. And then that's the School of Nursing building, over there to your right, behind the trees. So right now, I will just wait until the shuttle comes back and I will sit and wait here on the bench until the shuttle comes back. And there's multiple benches out here, as you can see. There's a trash can. Um, straight down, you can go to the main part of campus all the way down this path. But I'm at the bottom. Across the street, you see the business. Um, not the business, I'm sorry, the computer. 
the IT majors um the IT majors building right here so that's the like engineering and stuff majors and then IT some IT go over there I'm sorry which they collaborate together sometimes and as you can see right here there's a scooter a lot of people use scooters to go to class if they don't want to be late or they just want to get there faster so I would be seeing um, scooters riders um, in the afternoon not this early in the morning but there could be some in the morning just depending on their route to class also you can ride bikes as you can see a bike right over there and like I said this is over here by the education building and it's near the pond and where the shuttle stop right here in front of us okay so now I'm just waiting on the shuttle it should take about two three four to five minutes um it doesn't take that long for the shuttle to come but as you can see it's coming and it's really near and it has the Statesboro College Education and the rack on there and like I said I will show you the rack once we get there okay basketball and there's different courts the gym and then you have a mind body studio So now I am walking on the pedestrian to go to my math class. And as you can see, there's a scooter. So this is the math and physics building. Um, and it's right next to Russell Union over there. But we're going to exit in the math building. math classroom when looking at math and physics building you have the teachers area and then you have the Promethean board okay. okay guys so I am in the car of driving to class as I said before um, to your right here you have the parking lot of the baseball games and field that could be uh, in the tennis court right here uh, you have right here you have the um Hannah Field House that sometimes people go to go to basketball games. Right now I'm turning in to go to 
the um i'm turning in to go to the um math building but as i said before this is the hammer field house and you go there for like events and you go there to go to basketball games so right now i am driving towards the math and visit building um also you can go to Russell union this way so just gonna show you dun, 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 dun. stop so as you can see there's a this is a parking lot of the math and visit building this is the parking lot of this is a parking lot of um sorry that car almost hit me Okay, parking get a little crazy in the Russell Union parking lot, but this is the parking lot of um this is the parking lot of sometimes professors and they park here and if you don't have a parking pass you can park along the edge of the parking lot. So now I'm gonna go into my lot and my lot is this lot 20 one and as we speak speak uh <laughs> sorry that is the person that um the transportation services they are checking to see if you have if you're registered with um a parking pass they do check parking pass regularly and daily so you cannot get away with not having a parking pass, guys. But I am parking here because this is the lot that I paid for. And like I said, you can find the information on georgiasouther.edu or online. And you will see the total price for the parking passes. And you can pick out your lot. So I am going to go ahead and park my car. And... I am going to walk closer and show you the actual lot. Before I get out, and excuse my crack on my windshield, I have an old car. Um, we have a the Russell Union. So the Russell Union, I'm gonna show you a little bit about that later on in the video, but this is just a sneak peek of the building that you can walk to. And you can park your car, like I said, um, the white, this white car, white Jeep across, and all them cars on the line, on the outside is um, guest parking, or if you don't have a pass parking, and you have to pay like a dollar or two to park. But along the whole parking lot is professors that park there, um, people that uh, special to the university park there. But in this side of where I am parked, this is where the students park which you know i showed you the interest of coming in so anyways this is the separation of the two lots but they're connected um you have the russell union that away and you have the bookstore and the on-campus uh class buildings also throughout the campus that way but i'm just showing you a car view of russell union this building uh, um which i'm pointing to and zooming in is the math and physics that I went to yesterday for class. And this a this is the parking pass sign that you will have to pay if you don't have a pass. Thank you. All right, so we have in a Sweetheart Circle. Sweetheart Circle is a lot of people take their graduation pictures as you will see coming up. Someone's taking their pictures over there. Anyway, this is where people take their graduation pictures. It has a big GSU. Um, it goes around in a circle, and you can have a lawn. That's a lot of people sit to um, do work and things like that. So it goes around in a circle. And this is kind of a far off on off of campus, but it connects to campus. And this is where a lot of visitor, not visitors, yeah, visitor parking goes. And um, employees that work at Georgia Southern right, West. So I parked, just so y'all can see, up how I park, and I parked in the 30 minute parking on campus, Sweetheart Circle. Now we're about to drive around Sweetheart Circle. And here you have the museum 
Um, also, he has um, Ross Rosewind Building and the museum right here. And the museum is free. It looks like Georgia Southern is having an event up here. So because of the tents. This way you have the soccer field and the softball field down there. Um, as you can see, it's his bus only. This is where classes is held right here. Sanford Hall. Um, only staff and faculty can park on the side right here. You will have to find a 30 minute parking. So here we're going around the circle of Sweetheart Circle and we're going um, we're going around the thing and as I stated before this is where people take their graduation pictures as you can see and then this is GSU so we're driving around the circle and it's gonna take us back where we came from and as you can see people are coming that way into this right you can go to the library to the right. This is where a majority of uh, people come for this visitor parking here on campus. Um, as you can see, this is where the visitor parking and guests come to take a tour on campus. So that's in this building we just passed. This is the library. That's the way you go to the library. This is the deal hall. And like I said, it's just for faculty and staff. Um, this is the Marvin Pittman Administration Building. And that's where a lot of things that goes on at campus um, located. And I think also the president is located in that building. Here we have an event on campus, as you can see, on Sweetheart Circle. So it's called Sweetheart Circle because it goes in a circle. <laughs> so, all right, and then here we are where we started. And so I'm about to park and the sign says um, 30 minutes and it says that you have to pay a dollar max and four dollar a day if you go over 30 minutes and you just scan it in if you do pay but we're parking for free because I'm only gonna be here 30 minutes so that's that um I am going to show y'all uh, um, when you leave here um, on Sweetheart Circle. When you do leave here, you can walk that away to go um, on campus to Russell Union. Those routes that way, the trails. So you can't, there's like a back, back ways to get to the main part of campus. And I will show you guys that um, later on this, in this video. All right. So. What I want to share is the fact that you can walk around this whole thing. And and when you take a tour here at Georgia Southern, they will let you know that. Um, I also wanted to tell you guys that um, parking is counted here. So make sure you get the right prop, proper um, parking um, arrangements. Do not think you won't get your car towed parking up here, okay? That's what I'm I'm mainly trying to say. And as you can see, there's another sign. So they're kind of all over Sweetheart Circle besides the facility um, where you have to park only for faculty and staff can park on side of the roads when, when you saw early in the video. Uh, as I said, it like the, um, the softball field and things like that, I think you still have to have a parking pass in that lot but um i will not be showing that directly because um i have not really been over there to know much about over there okay so let's end the video for now It's a robot. So I'm walking on Sweetheart Circle. It's a little windy out here, but it's pretty. So this is Sweetheart Circle, the ground.
part. You can sit out here, you can study, you can do homework, you can meet up, you can have events out here, as you can see. There's some type of event going on now. And, yep, so beautiful. So this is Sweetheart Circle. It looks like they're having a art fest or something tonight or, or sometime today. Um, and there's a lot of things out here. And I'm guessing the school will let people rent out things to do here. But a lot of people take their graduation pictures here on Sweetheart Circle. And it goes all the way down to the GSU sign. But it's very pretty. It's a big old yard that you can do a lot of stuff on here. People bring their blankets and lay down. Um... Some people also just come by here, like I said, read books. They put, um, they put towels down. They climb the tree, and some people come by here at night just to play around with their friends. I've seen a lot of freshmen do that, play how to go seat one time. People come by here just for bonding with their um, friends and graduation pictures so yes you can do a lot of things out here so pretty other uh, part of campus Right, so this is part of the wrestling union. You can go in this way. This is like the roundabout. This is Starbucks interest. Or well, the way you can go to Starbucks. These are robots here on campus. There's Starbucks like there. This is the bookstore on campus near the dining commons which is over there um, we're gonna go this way so basically you will go here to buy your textbooks and things so i'm gonna go to the bus stop here and this is on campus those are the media tech place across the street. And then also you have the freshman dorms over here, just part of the freshman dorms. And we're gonna go to the bus stop. walking on campus and I am um, behind the president building um, and I am behind the building where um, there's classes at which is William Center Center so I'm behind those buildings so as we walk we can go sweetheart circle and we can go to 
buildings over there where they have classes at and on campus which is like if you're doing film and um video and if you're doing like news if you're that's part of your um major your building's over there but let's walk this away there's a path to the president building and sweetheart circle which you can walk from Russell Union and that's the route I walked but I will show you a video um going back to my car in the parking lot to Russell Union from Sweetheart Circle so we're on Sweetheart Circle and yeah Sweetheart Circle um over there is the um baseball field and classmates classes and buildings where you have classes at here i'm on sweetheart circle so nice and pretty right so it's a big lawn like i said you can do work out here you can say a lot of people say graduation pictures out here guys so check it out um when you're about to graduate um people come out here study do projects organizations have meetings sometimes events on campus and everything else so this is sweetheart okay so pretty right um and like i said those are the cars with professors park and then those are some buildings over there that you have classes now to get to sweetheart circle you will have to ride the shuttle to Russell Union um or you can just park your car at the Russell Union if you have a pass and then walk like I just did um or you can get dropped off by your friends so here's like the alley and then at the bottom it has GSU so this is Sweetheart Circle. This is the building where pe people take pictures in front of. Um, it's the Marvin Pittman Administration um, building. So that's that. And when you tour the school, guys, it's going to be a building right there where I'm pointing, zooming in at, is where you will, um, this direction, you will. Um, have to sign in and go there with your parents and you will sit in the room and have a quick overview about Georgia Southern and then behind the bushes because you cannot see that's the direction of the library here on campus and it's free and you can go there any day anytime and um, I may show y'all the library um, in another clip soon so you can see how that looks and where to go and regulations for the library but sweetheart circle so beautiful right and i'm about to um end this clip So right here is the right here is the lab building, this uh, nature um, nature and science building where you have labs at, close to the math and physics building where my class is set for today. Uh, if you are a math major, you will have all your classes um, located this building, which have a lot of trees and stuff and plants covering it. it. So this is the front of the math building. The way that I show you guys last time is the side. And the the way I showed you guys last time is the back and the side of the 
map building but this is the front of the map building so if you have a scooter or a bike you can park it right here in that little area um it's very naturish and like i said this is the labs building where you have all your labs and stuff at but we're gonna go ahead and go inside of the math and physics building where all your math classes look at it. So I'm in the math and physics elevator just so I can go to the first floor or the third, whichever you prefer. And different floors have different things, but my class is on the first floor, so we're in the elevator trying to get there. <laughs> 